What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Coop's House. This is part two of body work on the Chevelle. We tried really, really, really hard in part one to get this thing in primer and have body work wrapped up, but as usual, it didn't work out in our favor. What's new on that, right? So um, anyway, pay no attention to the fact that I'm already filthy. Um, I decided I was gonna go ahead and get an early start. I've started sanding on the roof, getting that feathered out and all that. Um, when we started sanding the roof, we found out that there were some places on the roof that needed body work. There was a couple places that were dented that we just weren't aware of. So when we found those, we decided they needed to be addressed prior to putting primer on the car. Um, also, the drip rails are really, really, really rusty. So we decided we're just gonna cut those off. They're pointless on a race car anyway. So we're just gonna cut those off. Um, and that's a whole process in itself. So. Uh, still a little bit of body work to do before we can prime this, so that's the reason for part two. We're going to jump right into it, but before we do, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications so you know when the next video comes out. And make sure you comment, talk to us in the comments, let us know what you think. Maybe we can learn something from you guys. We're learning as we go. So, not going to say anything else. Let's get right after it. said that the drip rails were going to be a job in themselves so i want to take just a second to show you guys why so take a look right here where i started cutting this one so the roof and the rest of the car comes together in a pinch weld so with that being said um i'm gonna have to cut off six or eight inches of this at the time and then put in little spot welds to hold it in place then i'll cut some more and i'll continue that until i have the whole thing down um, I am going to take my grinder with a flat disc and get this down flat with the car. So then I'll actually put the spot welds in. We'll cut a little more until we have it all the way down. And then we'll come back and we'll uh, finish welding it out. Before we grind it down, put a little body filler on it, block it out to make it look seamless. So this is going to be very time consuming, but we're going to make it through it. So I did say this is time consuming. I'm probably uh, 45 minutes or an hour in and I haven't gotten very far, uh, but I wanted to take a second real quick. It's getting kind of late, so I'm about to call it a night. Um, I want to take a second real quick to show you guys kind of what this looks like as a finished product. Obviously we haven't done body work over it or anything, um, but just want to kind of show you guys where we're at real quick. So there's kind of what it looks like. Uh, I know it looks a little bit rough right now, but you can see what it did look like what it looks like now so that's how much we're taking off but basically it's coming apart all the way there to the seam which you can't see now i guess i should have showed you um but you just weld up that seam with a series of spot welds and i shouldn't have but i went ahead and welded it all up anyway and then you just grind it down smooth and it's sort of straight right there you can see it's a little bit off but once we put body filler over it and we kind of sand that corner it's going to straighten that all out and it'll all be uniform. So not looking too bad, just taking forever. Anyway, guys, as much as I hate to quit tonight, um, I have something going on tonight I have to go do and I have an engagement tomorrow that I have to leave and go out of town for. So I'll be out of pocket for a couple of days, but I'll be getting back on this as soon as I get back. Hopefully going ahead and finishing up those drip rails because I already hate it. But anyway, we're getting there. So see you guys back in a couple of days. Well... Uh, I've been out of commission for a few days. Um, so we were working on this last Friday and um, I woke up Saturday morning, had some issues with my eyes. Anyway, found out I had a piece of metal in my eye, had to go and have that removed. Um, so now that's been removed for a couple of days and 
rounded up my safety glasses so we won't be doing this sort of thing without those anymore lesson learned so anyway i'm gonna show you guys kind of what i was doing here because off camera friday night i got a little happy with the saws all because the grinder was taking so long to cut these off and i found out that that was just a lot faster so that's the way we're going to do this but i'll show you guys kind of where we're at and uh and we'll hopefully finish taking these off all right so you guys can see kind of where i cut this off i know i said i was going to do it in six or eight inch intervals but it's really not moving that much so i was able to do it in more but you see the seam right here where i was coming across with the sawzall where we took the drip rail off where the roof actually comes together to the inner skin uh, so we're actually going to take the welder go down that seam just like we did up here and then once we get all of that welded all of this cut off then we'll grind all of that smooth go over it with some body filler and sand it down and we'll be good so we're going to get to work cutting on this and hopefully get the rest of this off Thing we had forgotten about was this little spot here at the bottom of this window so we're just going to cut a, a thin strip of metal just something that's going to fit right in here cut out what's rotten and then we're just going to stick it in there just tack it in real quick and easy or knock that out real quick before we uh before we finish up with the welder back in the shop this morning um so yesterday we smeared a lot of body filler over everywhere we worked on the drip rails that spot on the quarter that i had mentioned earlier in the other video um and so today i'm going to take my line sander go ahead and knock that stuff down i'm not going to sand it all out with a line sander 
but I'm gonna take off the majority of it and then hand block it out to kind of see where we're at. If we have to skim coat it again, we'll skim coat it again, but just wanna see kind of where we're at this morning. Um, I'm not gonna waste a whole bunch of time today because I only have today and tomorrow. And so uh, I really have a place I would like to get. I would like to have everything blocked out. And if I have to put another skim coat, do that. So that way we have very little to do in the morning because tomorrow I want to be taping this thing off and shooting primer. So we're gonna get right to work this morning. All right, so I had pretty much uh, blocked out all of the body filler that I had on the car. Um, I went ahead and took a pencil and marked out all the spots that need more filler because um, they're obviously low. So I just went ahead and marked those out so that I don't miss anything whenever I mix up the next batch of filler. It's easy when you're in a hurry and you're worried about that stuff hardening to overlook that stuff, especially when you're trying to get it on the car as fast as possible. So just went ahead and marked those with a pencil so I don't miss anything. Um, way back when I installed the first quarter panel on the passenger side and I got it in primer, I had already sprayed a guide coat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and block that out um, so that when I mix up filler, if there are any low spots that I find when I block it out, uh, I can go ahead and fix those. And then when we prime the car and we guide coat it again, those spots are already taken care of and that's just less we have to worry about. So. I'm gonna go ahead and block that out and then we'll be mixing up some more filler, putting on the spots that need it and we'll do some more sanding. <laughs> so, here we go. Finally got the car blocked. Uh, there are one or two little spots on the passenger side that I found when I blocked out the guide coat that are a little bit low, so they're just gonna require skim. It's nothing crazy. Uh, overall, the body was super, super straight on the passenger side, so I'm very, very happy with that. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is go ahead and mix up another batch of body filler, go ahead and skim coat what I had to skim coat, and then we're going to get that put on and we're going to get started on sanding the fenders to find out where the little spots are going to be on that. And then once we get all of that stuff blocked out, we're going to be pretty well ready for primer. So we're getting very, very close to getting this thing in a solid color. Um, so <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and mix up a batch of body filler, skim it on, and I'm taking a break for lunch. So let's get that knocked out too. I'm really, really hoping that took care of all my issues. But we're gonna let this sit a few minutes. I've got body filler everywhere. So we're gonna let that sit for a few minutes and then we're gonna come in, block that out. And we're gonna really, 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 really hope that it fixed everything. So I guess know in a few minutes, we'll update. I got sidetracked, forgot to set up the camera, but uh, started standing yeah. in the passenger side. The boys are playing. Anyway, started sanding the passenger side, got the roof sanded and along the drip rail, and it's pretty straight. There's a couple little issues that I'm not able to actually find. I can feel them, but I don't really know exactly where they are. So I think what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and prime it like it is, guide coat it, and then that'll show me where they are and I'll be able to fix them. So probably just gonna go about that that way. Um, I haven't sanded the transition in the quarter panel yet. Um, gonna save that for last because that's just gonna take a lot but I'm about to finish sanding the uh, driver's side and we should be good over there. Everything's looking great so far. So uh, I think we're gonna be sitting pretty after we finish uh, 
for sanding this. So anyway, I'm fixing to finish that up and then we'll get on the passenger side on that quarter panel and try to get that knocked out. Started getting a little bright, so I did have to put my sunglasses on. But we have the car hand sanded out. So I'd be lying if I said that hand blocking wasn't somewhat satisfying because you just kind of get to watch all this stuff come down where it needs to be, feel everything. So I do see uh, a few spots that need to be reskimmed uh, right across the top of where the drip rail was, right there at the bottom uh, edge of the quarter glass. That's still a little bit funky right there, um, but we're just going to skim coat that and we're going to be in the ballpark because right now this feels pretty straight, feels pretty good. Um, so I'm just going to skim coat those couple of spots, but first we're going to go over, we're going to knock down the passenger side and then we'll come back with skim coat. We got a skim coat and then we'll feel it, see where we're at and kind of figure out what we're going to do next, but we're getting close to primer. <laughs> Good afternoon guys. So yesterday, after I finished blocking out the quarter panels and everything, I just went ahead and called it a night. I was pretty tired. So went ahead and called it a day. Um, had a doctor's appointment this morning, so I didn't really get to do a whole bunch this morning. Um, I did go ahead and sand the fiberglass fenders, which I didn't film, um, but just ran over those really quick with a DA sander. They're sitting right over there. Um, I didn't really find much on those, so they're actually fairly straight. I did do uh, a little bit of a skim coat over a couple little tiny spots, but nothing major. Um, but off camera, went ahead and moved the car and all the panels out here to the paint booth. There's a lean-to we added onto the shop that's not closed in yet, so the paint booth is actually not completed yet. So um, it's good enough for spray and primer. So uh, it's actually late in the afternoon, so it's starting to get dark, and I'm not going to be able to prime the car today. Uh, probably what I'm going to do so that I have a little extra space because we have the other Nova sitting out here as well as a couple other things. So I don't have a whole bunch of space to spread everything out like I want to. Probably just going to spray the fenders and the hood out in front of the shop tonight. That way I can move those inside. They would protect it from the weather. And then tomorrow when I get out here to prime this thing, I'll just have the car and the doors to do. Um, so all that stuff will be finished and out of the way. But anyway, we're going to run to town, get some drop cloths, come back, and then we'll figure out if we're going to prime the fenders tonight. If so, it's gonna be cool. All right, so um, got the fenders and the hood moved out in front of the shop. I am gonna go ahead and spray that tonight. That way I can move it inside. It's out of the way. It's already sprayed, all of that good stuff. So the primer that I'm gonna be using is a five-star extreme brand. It's a Maxfield 2K. Um, so this stuff does a really good job of building, filling in small imperfections, small edges, things like that. So Really like this stuff. I'm using the yellow, doesn't really matter. It's just what they had, so that's just what I got. So anyway, let's get this stuff mixed up and get this sprayed.
Okay guys, so front clip parts are sprayed. Um, there are some runs for me to sand out. I was having some issues with the gun. I didn't realize, apparently at some point that gun has been dropped and there's actually a crack in the cup. So while I was spraying, I was seeing these little drops. I was like, where the heck is that coming from? I don't know. So finally it dripped on my hand and I started looking and I noticed that the cup was actually cracked, but it's fine, it's primer. It's gotta be wet, you know, it's gotta be blocked out, wet sanded, so it doesn't really matter. Um, anyway, sprayed it on super, super wet, so it should block out super nice, super slick. Uh, but anyway, gonna get these moved inside tonight. We're gonna call it a night. Tomorrow, I have another gun I'm gonna use because I'm throwing that one away. <laughs> it's just a cheap Harbor Freight gun anyway. So I have another one I'm gonna use tomorrow. We're gonna get the car primed, and then we're gonna be done for the week. Uh, so anyway, we're about to go get some rest, call it a night. See you guys in the morning. Okay guys, so today is the day. Finally, I went and picked up some drop cloths this morning and a couple extra rolls of tape. So we're about to get started taping this thing up, sealing off the window holes and everything because I don't want overspray on the steering wheel and everything else in there. So we're gonna cover everything up and we're gonna mix up some primer, get this thing sprayed. So let's get after it. So, uh, just for future reference, there will not be a breeze all day until you start messing with stuff like this. Right, Hunter? Yeah. He came today. Hey, buddy. Hello. Missed you all week. Sure. I was here Monday. Yeah, it's true. He was here Monday. Anyway, so we pretty much got it taped up. It's not perfect. The wind is blowing this everywhere, but lucky for us, this is just primer. So, uh, we'll be able to do a little better job uh, taping this when we actually get it in a paint booth somewhere. So anyway, we're about to get ready to mix up some primer and get the stuff sprayed. So let's do it. Okay guys, so the Chevelle is finally in primer and for the first time since I've owned it, it's in one color. Um, so this is a pretty exciting day. Uh, Hunter was here for just a few minutes. He had to leave. Uh, there's a pretty severe um, wildland fire going on in the county that he works in. So they called him in. Uh, so keep him in your prayers while he's gone. And uh, so anyway, um, I'm gonna give this a little bit to dry 
And then we're gonna end up putting the doors, fenders back on and getting ready to mount the hood. So we're just gonna set that on there and then we're gonna be done for this week. So we're gonna give this some, some time to sit and then we'll get it put back together. Okay guys, so finally the car is in primer. Uh, the front clip is actually on. There's still some adjustment needs to be done with the doors and the fenders, but that's fine. All that's gonna come back off anyway. Basically, we're trying to get the car to the point that it's pretty much finished so that we can take it and get it weighed so we can figure out which gears we're gonna be running in the rear end. Um, but anyway, all that's on, just kind of rough for now. We still have to guide coat and block this car so we can figure out kind of where our minor, our minor body work is going to be done so we can actually finish this thing and then we'll spot prime those and then we'll sand the car down and it'll be ready for paint. So, uh, anyway, we appreciate you guys understanding. I know we've been a little bit inconsistent with uploading the last couple of weeks, but with the wildfires and everything going on here in Northwest Florida, uh, Hunter and I have both been uh, called in and deployed and things like that. So we just had uh, a little bit of little bit of weirdness going on the last couple of weeks. But we appreciate you guys understanding and still continuing to support us. Uh, make sure that you guys like this video, comment, turn on your notifications, subscribe to the channel. Um, but most importantly, make sure you guys are liking the video and commenting and talking to us because the more interaction we get from you guys the more our videos and our channel are recommended to other people with the same interests. So make sure that you guys are interacting with us. But we appreciate the continued support. Make sure that you guys tune in next week for the next episode. That should be a pretty good one. So make sure you guys tune in. We appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next week. Deuces.